The man of the hour has arrived at Hometown Pharmacy in Wanakee, courtesy of Iron Jock. It is Jim Ray DK. Uh, you're here to sign autographs. There's a big crowd here for you to be able to sign some autographs. You're decked out in your Iron Jock gear. So, Jim Ray, welcome. We're happy to have you. No, thank you. I'm excited. Uh, definitely, definitely a nice uh, showing, and I'm excited for the day. Yeah, I would I would be as well. And Matt Hamilton, uh, who's with me as well, uh, we'll just lead right with this. We're both super excited about the Badger season, <laughs> and you don't have to make like win predictions. But Matt's got you at eleven this year, like he's including got, the Big Ten championship game and the bowl game. Yeah, yeah. like he, he's just got you eleven out of the fourteen games he thinks you guys are going to play. Eleven. Like, are, are you guys having that level the level of excitement as well? Yeah, I mean, I think that's a little low, but um, nice. You know, I expect to you know go out and win every game. Um, right. You know, way Coach Fickle and. Uh, the rest of the staff prepares. You know that's what we're we're ready for. We don't take the rest of the Big Ten for granted. We know, um, you know, it's going to take a lot, and you know we have to be prepared every single week. But you know, I have a lot of confidence in my guys. Without giving away any like game plan here, um, what is like the difference that this offense, like you as a, a wide receiver, that's now seeing a you know a modified air raid offense? How has this changed? Uh, maybe practices for you, or how you guys are anticipating playing for in a game? Yeah, I mean, I think, uh, you know, the biggest thing that kind of sticks out is the tempo. Uh, if you know, if I don't know if you have seen any practices or anything like that, but uh, the tempo that we go at is, uh, I think, up there with anybody in the country. And right. um, I think it's something that can really put pressure on defenses and, uh, you know, make it tough and make it so they have to play our game. You had to be a little bit excited if you happen to, like, look at North Carolina having, like, 500-plus pass attempts. And, we all, you know, Wisconsin's been a, obviously a heavy-run team and a lot of success behind that. So, I mean, right there could be 250 more pass attempts that are going out to wide receivers. Obviously, Braylon's going to get the ball. Obviously, they're going to be smart about it. But it has to be exciting for you to see this offense, see the potential with so many talented wide receivers in the room led by you. It's got to be fun to be a leader in that group, but also see the potential of having this offense really put the ball in the air and put the ball in the end zone through the air. Yeah, I mean, I think – just seeing Coach Longo's success over the years, um, you know, even when I know he knew he was coming in without meeting, uh, it was super exciting for me. Um, and then the other thing is our room. Um, you know, we have so many talented guys uh, that I'm excited about, um, and they've been so great to work with. Uh, you know, Will Paul and Bryson Green, C.J. Williams, Skyler, um, and Kalu as well, obviously coming back, and then some of the young guys we have. I think that, um, you know, if we keep working going the season, we'd be really special. Nice. All right, so I'm, I'm going to get into some more of the nitty-gritty that I like to get into. Um, tell me a little bit about, like, wh this new team. You obviously haven't had any games yet, but you guys are starting to get a, an idea of each other and how you guys are going to, like, have that team chemistry. What's going to be, like, that, like, pregame locker room thing? Like, you hear some of the guys, they, maybe they're gaming a little bit, but maybe, like, well before the game, but, like, what what's the kind of vibe gonna be uh, this time around? What do you guys feel like you got going? Uh, I mean, I don't really know what we're gonna do pregame yet. Um, yeah. I think that. But what are you doing? I guess now to build chemistry. Yeah, I think off season um, time. You know, one of the best things that we do is, um, you know, we've ha had an upgrade in training table. Um, so we've been ha having a lot more guys spend time with each other. In that, uh, we're going to Coach Brown's house this weekend to spend some time with his family and just getting around the guys. Um, you know, obviously we have some new faces, but um, you know. It's honestly been a, you know been a pleasure to get to know them. Right, um, they're so easy going, and um, you know they bought in the culture, and um, that not only that Coach Fickle brought in, but that we had um, in our locker room before. Right. So um, it's been a joy to be around those guys, and I can't wait to continue to get to know them even more. Right. You, you didn't bring up Squat Fest. Yeah, and we read about it was a DJ yeah. lights competition. I mean. Obviously, it had to be a lot of fun, and then how does that help build camaraderie and competition with the team, too? Yeah, I mean, that's all Coach Brady. Uh, you know, he's a fun guy. He likes <laughs> to, you know, definitely mix it up a little bit, but, um, you know, he likes to work, too, and um, I think all the guys are super bought in the weight room, um, you know, kind of the philosophy he has. Um, you know, that guy, I, I really, he's, he's been a pleasure to work with. Like, that's that's probably one of the, you know, best things about this this staff is being able to work with Coach Brady. Um, wow. And, uh, you know, Squat Fest was awesome. I think being able to, you know, compete and, um, make competitive situations just um, brings guys closer. I think I felt my hamstrings right. giving out when I watched. <laughs> yeah, Braille I've and never. Dan. Heard I was like, "Oh my gosh, my legs are hurting." <laughs> well, well, Matt, an Olympic athlete here, I've never heard him ever say anything remotely close saying he likes to work out. So that really <laughs> speaks to uh, Coach Brady there. If he's got you guys excited about it, yeah, yeah, no, he's awesome. And you know, Braylon, uh, he has plenty of power to, to handle that weight. <laughs> yeah, uh, I remember the first time he came in when he was a freshman, he was doing some of the lifts. You know, I think you. Saw it on Twitter when yeah. he was in high school yeah. and everything, but uh, to see him in person, you know, it's it's truly special. And that guy works his butt off to, you know, you know, be a good leader on the team and a uh, good example of what a badger is. What um, what was your squat number? I mean, what was your max there? Uh, I did four fifty five for six. 
Um, so not quite Braylon's number, but uh, <laughs> <All right. laughs> Braylon is. Now, did I hear? I don't know if this was out there public or not. Did uh, Coach Fickle draw out at six? Like you couldn't, he didn't want the weights to go over six hundred pounds. Is that what I had heard? I think Tauscher, Mark Tauscher, former Badger, was at this, and he thought that maybe the weight was cut off at six hundred pounds. Um, I'm not really sure. Um, it wasn't, you know, pushing our max. Like, um, you know, I, I could have probably done a, a good amount more, but well, if you did um, six of them at yeah. four four and changes, but, then you definitely could have done more at like. <laughs> a higher weight. Well, I think it's just a little more safer to oh, yeah, totally. you know, kind of go up close to your max but still have um, kind of that gap where you, you can still do reps. The thing is I love the camaraderie and the vibe and just like like I said again, ke- chemistry is like that X factor that has such an impact that you can't really put your finger on. I love that. But the last thing I want to hear is of, like someone hurting themselves <laughs> right, right, yeah. during squat day when right, right. DJ squat your butt off is uh, spinning <laughs> records for you. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. I mean, uh, Coach Brady does a good job taking care of us. Good, um, good. You know, they, they push us and they work, but, um, you know, everything has a, a rhyme and a reason. Uh, you know, he tells us that, that, you know, nothing we do is going to be wasting our energy or our time. Well, we had a chance. Uh, former Badger Melvin Gordon was on Wilde and Tausch a little bit earlier today with former Badger Mark Tauscher, Packer Hall of Famer. And they talked about, and Melvin talked about his excitement for the Badger program. He says he's going to watch more than ever, but also talked about the excitement of having a passing game. And we'll hear that right now. Really, I just was paying attention to the quarterback that he was bringing in. That's what I'm excited about, to kind of just get an offense another dynamic. You know, just give, give him another avenue to win, um, give Braylon some help, and uh, – you know, we we don't always be able to run the ball, and I hope we don't. You know, we don't get away from that because that's what we do. Um, we don't want to scare away the good backs. We want to, but uh, we understand that the game is involving, and we we got to be able to pass the ball. Is that kind of uh, your mindset of like we got to keep the tradition of uh, tradition of running the ball here, but we gotta we gotta pass the ball to take this next step? Yeah, no, I mean 100. percent You know, we still got Braylon Allen and yeah. Chas Lucy and the rest of that room that can really, um, you know, damage defense. And I think that you know being able to spread them out, you know, gives them um, less loaded boxes and um, better opportunity. And uh, I think that we you know we have a lot of playmakers um, on the outside that can make plays. And um, you know, a really good guy at the helm, um, Tanner Mordecai, who's done a uh, great job, um, not only just playing but leadership as well. Talked nice. about blending cultures, and so you have Fickle and a lot of transfer portal players coming in, or your different recruits maybe coming in, and then you have established leaders like you. So you've kind of gone through, uh, seen what the Badger way is, and now Fickle comes in and has his way. How has the locker room and the coach staff helped blend that all together? Because it seems like you guys are getting along really well. Yeah, no, I mean, I think it was an easy transition. Um, you know, Coach Coach Fix a blue collar dude, um, you know, through and through. Uh, he loves work so Scotch Brady and all the rest of the staff. So um, it's kind of what Wisconsin's all about. Um, and, you know, they came and they said that um, part of the reason they took the job was because they knew Wisconsin had that culture. Um, and, you know, their job was to come in and enhance it. Um, and I think the guys bought into that. And um, it's just been a great process so far. Uh, last thing here, what we have. So we're here at uh, Hometown Pharmacy yeah. in Wanakee. People can come out here. Chimray DK is here. He's going to start signing autographs the second he gets off the air uh, with us. It's going to be pretty cool, obviously, working with Iron Jock, Braylon Allen, and then obviously Paul from Iron Jock is here. But you walk in, and then you see you're 13, you see the name on the back. Yeah. Uh, that's got to be a pretty cool feeling. Yeah, no, it's definitely cool. Um, you know, Iron Jock's been great, um, you know, being able to work with them a little bit. Um, and, you know, obviously having the support of Badger fans. Um, you know, I grew up a Badger fan. I know we're some of the best in the country. Um, and, you know, I just want to be able to have a good season and, you know, uphold that standard that they have. Right. Well, I was just telling them that this is maybe even better than getting like an actual Jim Ray DK jersey because you got that Iron Jock anti stink and the silver iron technology built right into it. So if you're not under the overhang and sitting in the sun at Cram- Camp Randall just cheering on Jim Ray, then you're going to be at least smelling okay yeah. while you're sweating uh, there in, you know, maybe September watching you just put up 60 plus <laughs> points on. Uh, whoever was well, Do you the remember Bulls? those days when, when Bielema was here? They they put up like yep. 50, 60. And obviously, I mean, externally, I wouldn't recommend giving that number out there. But you guys could be like, look, we can get back to those days. Yeah, no, I mean, I think Austin Austin P. we played or something yeah. like that. We put up almost 100 points. Yep. Yeah. Um, but no, I think, you know, dominance is what we want um, offensively. You know, I don't I don't know if we can score 98 or whatever they did. Yeah. But, um, I think that, you know, if we keep um, improving and, you know, really buying into the offense and, uh, you know, going to fall camp with the red mentality, we can uh, be offense that puts a lot of points up in the season. You're an offensive guy. We're all excited about the offense. I'll give you a chance to, to pump up the defense a little bit here. How much are they helping you? That's a good defense going against every single day in practice. How much does that help you out? I mean, just, you know, as a player even uh, through through the years, being able to go up against, you know, Fayon Hicks, Trout Wild Goose, 
Um, you know, so many great great defenders. Nick Herbig on the other side. Yeah. Um, you know, obviously this year we have a bunch of, you know, some young players. But we have, like, Muma coming back. We got, you know, Jordan Turner. We got Alex Smith, Rico on the, you know, um, outside playing quarter and, you know, a bunch of guys. So um, Hunter Wohler is another dude yeah. who's really impressive. Um, but, you know, going against those guys every single day and, you know, they're not going to miss a beat um, from where they've been the last couple of years. And I'm just excited and, um, you know, thankful that we have those guys backing us up. Sounds right. like one of those steel sharpening steel situations because I'm sure those guys are like, oh, man, we got our work cut out for us. We got to cover Chimray every day in practice. So I'm sure it's one of those uh, you help me, I'll help you. I'll push you, you push me kind of situations. And I that is the best way, one, to build up a team, and two, to be ready for that opening uh, series. What do we got? The Buffalo. Bulls. The Buffalo yeah. Bulls. Yeah. So. The lesser Buffalo team. Not as good as the Bills, but you got the Bulls. <laughs> uh, Jim Ray, thank you so much. We got Badger fans out here to support you, sign your autographs. We'll let you get out here and do that. Jim Ray DK uh, here with uh, Iron Jack at Hometown Pharmacy. This is Rutledge and Hamilton presented by Cruise Light. You're listening to Rutledge and Hamilton presented